Well, good morning and welcome to another edition of the Morning Devotional. My name is Pastor William Hill. I'm the pastor of Fellowship Presbyterian Church located in Newport, uh, Tennessee. It's great to have you here with me for a Friday, June 5th, 2020. This is edition number 53. We are currently in season one of the Morning Devotional, working our way through Psalm 119. Today, we're going, to be cons- we're going to be considering verses 107 and 108. But let's pray together first before we uh, dive into these two verses uh, briefly this morning. Let's pray together. Father, as we approach your word again this morning, we, uh, we have learned much uh, as to what your word uh, does for us and how it teaches us and instructs us. We thank you that it is a light to our path, even as we learned yesterday. We pray that we would truly use this light in our journey as pilgrims in this world, that we might serve you with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Grant to us what you command, O Father, and help us. Forgive us for our sins, our transgressions against you, our sins of omission and commission. We pray for your people, uh, wherever they may be, as they uh, engage in these uh, brief times in your word, We pray that you would bless them for it and that you would guide them even this day, that they might honor you and glorify you in all that they do, we pray for Christ's sake. Amen. Well, we are in verses 107 and 108 together this morning. Verse 107 reads, I am severely afflicted. Give me life according, O Lord, according to your word. Here we have an acknowledgement, perhaps on a number of fronts. Uh, the psalmist could be dealing with real affliction, a real a heartache, difficulty, and if it is David that penned Psalm 119, as many think, then we know a little bit about his life, his history, and the difficulties that he experienced, especially at the hands of Saul, uh, the first king of Israel. So if that's what he's referring to here, he recognizes the comfort that comes uh, from the Word of God. And, and so often in our lives, we turn to the Scriptures um, when things are difficult. And we should. It's from there that we find hope. Perhaps one of those Psalms that you might consider as you wrestle with various trials in life is Psalm 46. Psalm 46, God is our refuge and strength, the very present help in trouble. And of course, you may know that Martin Luther, when he penned that glorious hymn, A Mighty Fortress is Our God, uh, he based it on Psalm uh, Psalm 46. And because that's true, we will not fear, though the earth gives way. The mountains uh, may be moved into the heart of the sea, its waters roar uh, in foam, Uh, the mountains tremble at its swelling. But we trust in our God to bring us safely through to our heavenly rest. And so if he's here referring to that issue, then clearly we find hope in the Word of God. If he's referring to discipline, uh, wherein he has transgressed God's law and he's moved away from that which is right and true, he appeals to God for help in life as the Word of God gives to us. So we know that when we do sin against God, we have the comfort of knowing that He does forgive us and cleanse us from every unrighteousness. And so as, as pilgrims in this world, as men who still have indwelling sin in our lives, uh, there are times when uh, we will feel uh, disciplined, we will feel afflicted, and we must, as Christians, we need to turn to the Word of God. That's the goal of discipline, to bring us back to Him. And so we come back to our God through the Scriptures that He's given to us, to find that relief, uh, the forgiveness of sin, and the comfort that comes from a loving Father who does chastise His own. And so it could be any one of those two things. It could be um, just recognizing that He too is a sinner with the tendency to wander uh, from the path that He just mentioned in verse 105. And so the psalmist again shows us the great value of the scriptures. In verse 108, we, we read, uh, Accept my free will offerings of praise, O Lord, and teach me your, your rules. And so, again, the psalmist um, 
appeals to the Lord for help and instruction and guidance and understanding of these things that are penned here uh, for him. Note that he uses this phrase, except my free will offerings of, of praise. Uh, so often in our lives, uh, it's important that we remember that the end goal of studying the scriptures is to give praise and in honor uh, to, um, to the Lord himself. And so we understand that all of scripture is designed to bring us to doxology, to bring us to praise uh, before God. And as we do that, we learn. We, we are slow to learn at times, but we learn the righteous rules that God has granted for us that we might walk um, in them. So we see here in Psalm, in this, uh, these two verses this morning, we see the, 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 the goal of discipline as those who wander at times from God's demands to bring us back to his word. We find comfort and hope in his word as we wrestle through times of difficulty. We seek to give praise to God as we strive to learn uh, from him uh, what is good and necessary uh, for our very lives. Well, I trust these times together, uh, though brief, even this morning, probably the briefest one I've done. Uh, don't know, it's, there's been 52 other editions of the devotional, but uh, I trust they're a time of blessing for you. And if you would like to offer any feedback, I would welcome that. You can find the information in order to contact me. It's there on your screen in front of you. Additionally, you can avail yourself of the information that's below the video where these uh, devotionals are posted elsewhere. Um, they're posted on Sermon Audio as well, and there you can access both the audio only and the video editions, so they do both uh, there for us, uh, for me. And so until um, Monday, when we take up uh, the next two verses, I trust the Lord will bless you, that you'll purpose to be in, the, in, in worship uh, on the Lord's Day, and that you'll um, strive uh, with all of your strength to serve the living God who is good and gracious uh, to his people.